Welcome back to Python scripting for GIS applications, a spring semester 2013. This is a class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. In this video session, I'm going to teach you how to write a Python script to compute the percentage coverage between two layers. So here's an example. This is from the Caribou Poker Creek Research Watershed, and we've got um, watershed basins. So for example, this basin is primarily a north-facing slope basin, and this basin is primarily a south-facing slope basin. So that's one layer. The second layer is permafrost coverage. So here's the permafrost within this area. And the question is, within each of these basin polygons, what is the percent permafrost? So for example, this polygon would be a very low percentage permafrost, and this basin would be a very high percentage permafrost. So that's gonna be one of your weekly assignments at the NRM 638 website. Okay, so let's do this as a simple example. So here we've got four square polygons, and each square is, um, one by one in terms of its width and its length. I just use the create fishnet tool to make these four sample squares. And then we've got one large square. So this is our second shape file. And the question is for each of the four original polygons, what is the percentage covered by this large square? So for example, our square polygon number one it should have 25% of it is covered by this large square um, polygon number 100. So these are the two layers we're going to work with in our test Python script. And we should get for this square one, it has a 25% coverage by our large square, which has an ID of 100. So let's go and we'll do that with Python scripting. Okay, so we'll import the OGR module. And then we'll create a driver that's gonna understand Esri shapefiles. Okay, so the next step is we'll add our squares layer. And then when we um, create the data source object, we need to make it uh, right access. So basically we're going to add a field called percent to that layer and in order to add a field we have to have right access. So for right access we have the code of one which basically means right access. And then we'll create our squares layer. So these are the four squares. And then we'll add a field. So the first thing we do is define our field, and it's gonna be named percent, and it's gonna be a floating point type, and then we'll add that field to our shapefile. So to do that, we use the dot create field function. Okay, so now we've got this four square shapefile and it's got a new field called percent, and it's a floating point field. And then we'll add our second uh, shape file, which was that one polygon sort of in the middle of our four squares. So we're not gonna do anything with this shape file, so we'll add it as um, read-only access, so we don't accidentally delete it, we don't accidentally write to it. And then we'll get that layer, which is that one large square. And then we'll get that one square feature from that layer. So that would be index zero. And then we'll get its shape field. So basically the polygon geometry of that one large square sitting in the middle of our four squares. 
Okay, so the next step would be to just loop through each of the four squares and then calculate what's the percentage of the large square inside each of these four squares. So I'll just put a little comment here. And what I'm going to do is comment out my for loop because we're just going to do it for one square to see how this works. So I'm basically going to say, if I'm going to do this later on for real, it'll be for i in the range of starting at feature zero all the way up to feature count. So here I'm just going to say, well, let's just start with our first square. So I'll just say i is equal to zero. And then we'll get that square feature. So that's one of our four squares, and then get its polygon shape. And then we'll get its area. Okay, you'll remember when I said when I ran that create fishnet tool, I described each square as being uh, one wide by one long. So let's see what this square area contains. It should contain an area of one times one or one. So it is an area of 1.0. Okay, we already have the polygon object for that large square sitting in the middle of our four squares. So what we'll do is say, we'll take our first square polygon, which has an area of 1.0, and then dot to see all the functions that that object has. So there's going to be a function called intersection. So intersection with our large square polygon. So that's this polygon. And we will put that in a variable and we'll call that variable, um, let's see, intersect poly. So that will return the intersection between this polygon and the larger polygon. Okay, so then we could say, well, grab the area of that and we'll store it in a variable. And then what's inside that? So it should be 0.25 because 25% of the large square is inside that smaller square. And it is 0.25. So then we can calculate our percent coverage. So just take that value times 100. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so I misspelled, so Alt-P for previous command, and there's no A. So that should give us 25%. And it does give us 25%. Okay, so now we have the correct percent overlap between our small square and the larger square that's in the middle of the four squares. So then we'll simply write that to the field. So use the dot set field to set this value in this field called percent. And then we simply save it to our shapefile. And we're not creating a new feature, we're just setting the feature with its new value. Okay, so if we were going to do this um, for real, what we would do is do this in a loop. So basically what we would do is say, okay, for all the polygons, and then basically do it in a loop. Okay, so if you go to the NRM 638 website, there is the problem for each watershed basin, what is the percentage of permafrost inside the basin's polygons? So that's at the NRM 638 website.